researchers have experienced a setback. Progress sometimes comes more slowly than we would wish. Minus 144 research towards logistics. Thank you very much, assholes. <sighs> and... I almost want to spend the gold on converting this into a caravel, but I think I'm not going to. That's just bitter. That just makes me f***ing bitter. Alright, you Aztec shits, give me something I want. You have nothing. Let's see piece of shit. Who are these? They're garbage is what they are. Spaniards. You stole my colony in Mexico. I'm not giving you money. Are you stupid? Portuguese. Friend man. Oh, the Polish are surprisingly strong. those trades. It's too dangerous. Oh, finally, the Italians uh, developed Corsica, so I can finally sail through their city like it's the Panama Canal. That's silly. And maybe I can actually get out, but I don't think so. We'll see. see. Looks like I might actually be the first one to get to logistics just in a moment here. It's gonna be in a moment. Maybe. Fingers crossed. I got logistics, which has the customs house, which is a very good building. You want the custom house. What do I get next? Um, trading company. That's it. Gotta get that. Economics. Very well carried on. Okay. Custom house. Yeah, so this is plus 50% trade route yield again. Which is good. That's plus 100% with the wharf. At least for a few more turns. Probably we will now work on the custom house. Okay, so the beautiful thing about privateers, absolutely beautiful thing, is you don't have to be at war to fight. You can use them to fight anyone. I don't want to wait until I have a couple. That way they can move in pairs. I don't want them to move in teams. They're more likely to survive that way. Dublin. Ubro. Inverness. Ubro. 
grow, and this will be the last time we grow for a while. Oh, so I need to check. Yes! Two Renaissance technologies. Very nice. Very, very nice. Who wants to trade? I'm probably not going to trade with any of you shits. Yeah, like, I'm going to give you my Renaissance tech. Come on. Come on. You should have traded when you had the chance. Apostolic Palace, Victoria, that's me. I can be the leader of the Apostolic Palace. Very good. I hope it happens. Do we have a fishing boat here? So I could destroy these fishing boats, and I think I will take the chance. Pillage. Five gold. And then get out of there. They're probably going to try to attack me. Okay. I'm about to round Cape Horn. This must be the Falkland Islands. Maybe. Of course, the Mexicans became, uh, the Aztecs became the uh, vassal of Spain. Of course. I mean, what choice did they have? Conquistadors are tough. And they did attack me, but I will have the defensive advantage being on the coast. But oh no, he's got two. That's not good. Uh, what a relief. So nice. Very nice. I won two naval battles. I'm going to get the experience. And one of my historical victory objectives is to sink 50 ships, so I just got two. Who is the winner? <gasps> I am the winner! So I'm the Pope now, basically. <laughs> I'm like the Pope. I won the election for the Apostolic Palace. I can uh, issue edicts and send um, the Inquisition to places. We discovered fish near London, so this happens just before the Dutch spawn. The Dutch are going to spawn, um, Amsterdam's going to be right here, and of course they add the fish to uh, give Amsterdam because there's not much space, it's going to encroach on French and German territory, so they need the fish to at least have some chance. Okay. No, that's not it's something else. There it is, Cape Horn. Privateers. Newcastle grows. Uh, no, 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 not the exchange. Customs house. Three privateers. Customs house. That'll take a while. That'll take them some time. So I'm going to hold them both in the same position, that way they can defend together. Um, the uh, unit with the highest strength will always be the one to defend if someone attacks, so... It would basically take two or three ships and a bit of luck to take that fleet at this point. I believe they call it the Stack of Doom. The more you have in the stack, the harder it is to overtake them, because the unit with the highest strength will always be on top. So now we're looking for... Inca. Somewhere up here. Somewhere up here is Peru. I'm staying in the deep water because the ships move faster in the deep water. But uh, they have a better defensive bonus if you stay in the shallow water. It's just something to keep in mind. 
All right, so we got our two, our two pirates here. Uh, the French are coming across with the Galleas. I don't even need to attack it. All I need to do is block the English Channel. Wait a turn, they'll probably attack me. What are they going to do, go all the way around Scotland? I don't think so. All right, so what is this? This is independent city-state. Probably... Yes! Okay. Yes! This is what I was talking about. So I'm the first one to come into contact with the Inca, which means I get this huge army of conquistadores. Look at that. I get uh, only one Arquebusier, unfortunately, but I get uh, three mounted units, two pikemen, yes. pikemen are good, two Academy artillery, and then I get uh, three, three indigenous units plus Tell a missionary to, to convert the heathens. Fantastic. Now, uh, I want to circumnavigate the globe with this guy, stopping along the way to pick up all the villages. So I'm looking for Easter Island. There's usually, I think almost always, there's a uh, village on Easter Island, which will give you a small bonus. So... As you can see, they also got the plague. Naturally, the dirty Europeans showed up, spread their diseases, smallpox and whatnot. Uh, really, what I want to decide here is where to send my army exactly. Uh, I don't want to conquer anything that's in a foreign core area because it's more difficult to maintain. Just keep refreshing. So, Tiwanaku is neutral. I'm willing to bet this city-state is neutral. What do we have here? Six workers? I don't want six workers. Waiting your order. That's your just service. too much to maintain. Six workers? That's silly. I'll let them work and take team one up. I, I think that's right. Is that right? Maybe I can use my indigenous guys. can continue to improve the continent. Probably take T1 off the I don't know what else. Chan Chan. What do I need? So... South America, I only need three. It's a piece of cake. It's easy to get three in South and Central America. Three colonies. Uh, look at that, I already sank two enemy ships and discovered two Renaissance-era techs. Next turn, 